Hey YouTube, I'm Tristan from Smart Home Point. I really like my Echo devices, but one of the things that really annoys me with them is the weather forecasting. To give you an example, I live in a town called Cumbran, and today, looking out the window, it's cloudy, or a little bit sunny, and there's no chance of rain, and I've double-checked that with some other weather sources. So let's see what happens when I ask my Echo for the weather. What's the weather like today? Currently, in Caerphilly it's 14 degrees Celsius with mostly sunny skies. Today, you can expect clouds with a chance of showers, with a high of 16 degrees and a low of 6 degrees. Oh, it's, it's going to rain. One second. <sighs> Sorry, I thought I was going to get caught in a the shower then. Um, now, as it happens, there are two issues with that echo weather forecast. One of them is it got the town wrong. The other one was that it told me that it's going to rain, or there's a chance of rain, and as it happens, there's no actual chance of that. Uh, as a result, I want to film this video to show you how you can fix these two separate issues, so that if you've moved house, or for whatever reason, your Echo is getting the weather forecast wrong for the wrong town, you can fix that. And secondly, I want to show you how you can choose other weather sources so that you don't need to worry about inaccurate weather forecasts. Let's take a look. If your Echo device is giving you the wrong uh, weather for the wrong town, this might be a bit confusing because on your home screen of the Alexa app, right here, it'll probably give you the correct town. So it's pretty confusing as to why your Echo device is getting the wrong town. One of the things you might have done to try and solve this issue is go to settings, and down in your locations, you might have gone in here and you will have seen that your home is listed as the right town. So again, it doesn't make much sense, or it doesn't seem to make much sense as to why your Echo device is getting the town completely wrong. But as it happens, each Echo device actually has the capability of having a completely different town, a completely different location. I think the idea here is that obviously if you've got multiple houses, or maybe you've bought an Echo for a family member, then you're able to actually have a different zip code for each Echo device that you have. Um, but still, they register to one account, so you can control everything there. Uh, so if we actually go into a particular device, if we scroll down to device location, and here you can actually see the zip code or the postcode, because I'm in the UK, um, for an actual Echo device. And in my case, that is the uh, that postcode is actually for, okay, probably not worth typing there. That's for Caerphilly anyway, CF83 is for Caerphilly. While I actually live somewhere else, I live in Cambran, which starts with NP44. What I should just do, come down here for the zip code, or the postcode, and I'll type in my new one. And now I could carry on and put my full street address, but obviously I don't need that. My the weather forecast just based on the zip code is perfectly fine, obviously. So at the top now, I'll click on save. And then it just says, please check any existing alarms. You know, make, make sure that they adapt to the time zone if necessary. Obviously, I don't have any multi-time zone alarms, so I don't need to worry. But click on OK. Uh, we'll go out to that. So if I go back in, let's just verify that's worked. I go to device location. You can see now that the zip code or the postcode is actually for Cumbran, which is perfect. Right now in Cumbran, Wales, it's 13 degrees Celsius with mostly sunny skies. Today's forecast is clouds with a chance of showers, with a high of 16 degrees and a low of 8 degrees. Right. If you find that the weather source used by Alexa isn't very good or isn't very accurate, then you can use skills to resolve this. The reason you have to use a skill is that unfortunately, AccuWeather is the default weather provider in Echo so or in Alexa. So when you say, uh, what's my weather, that will always use AccuWeather. You can't change that default provider. But what you can do very easily is say to Alexa, you know, enable a, a weather skill and you'll use that. Uh, or you can do that via the app, uh, which I'll show you now. So we come in, do a search for big, I don't want big fart, <laughs> not big sky weather. Right, so these are the, some of the different weather apps. Obviously, I'm going to choose big sky. 
because I just happen to know that's the highest reviewed uh, Alexa app. And with Big Sky, you can also do some nice questions, such as you can say, will it rain tomorrow or will it rain in three hours time? So it's quite a nice app. Um, and obviously the ratings are a lot better than the default Alexa app. What you'll also find uh, with these skills is that you've also got skills tailored to your particular country. So in the UK, you can use the Met Office. Obviously in America, you're going to have where the source is tailored to you. But in this case, I'll go into Big Sky. Uh, and it's just giving you examples of some of the queries you can actually ask it, such as will it rain in three hours, which is quite useful. Now you can enable this skill either by going to an Echo device and saying enable Big Sky, or you can go into the app and click on enable to use. Right, which I'll do now. So in my case, I won't share location services. All I'll do is share device address, because that's all it really needs. So I'll click on all it, all it needs for my purposes. So I'll click on save. And now that that's it, it's ready to go. And the nice thing with this app is you don't actually need to manually configure your address. So you don't have yet another place that stores your address information. This skill will obviously just use the address you've already configured. Um, and as I say, it's, it's quite highly rated. There's quite a lot of different options. If you want as well, there's premium there's a premium option which is really cheap, I think it's like three dollars per year or something, it's pretty cheap and it gives you really fine grain control and you can get sort of custom weather alerts as well. But for most users, you know, the, the free functionality is perfectly good. It'll give you very accurate, very useful weather forecast information. Uh, so let's try it out now. Open Big Sky. <laughs> Currently, it's 19 degrees with mostly cloudy skies, remaining that way for the hour. Tonight, it should be mostly cloudy, with an overnight low of 12 degrees. Tomorrow, you might see light rain in the evening, when there's a 33% chance. The high will be 20 degrees. There is the following weather alert in effect. Yellow thunderstorms warning for United Kingdom, Wales expiring today at 11pm. To hear the full alert, say what's the alert. To hear more details about your current request, say more details. More details. The high of 20 degrees occurred around 3.57 p.m. and the low for the day of 10 was at 3.18 a.m. The overnight low will be 12 degrees. Sunrise was at 4.56 a.m. and sunset will be at 9.34 p.m. Right now the relative humidity is 68%, with a dew point of 13 degrees. The wind is coming out of the southwest at 4.7 miles per hour, with gusts up to 6.3 miles per hour. Well, thank you. That's clearly a lot more information than you get from the default Alexa weather provider. So that's awesome. Thanks for that. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. For me personally, when I moved house a few years ago, I always found it annoying that Alexa or my Echo devices would keep giving me the weather forecast for my old town. So it's nice to know how you can solve this issue. Equally, both my wife and I have found that AccuWeather, which is used by Alexa, isn't the most reliable for us in this area. So it's nice that we know about Big Skill and some of the other weather skills we can use to get more accurate weather forecasts for us. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.